So when thinking about the trends uh, we see in consumer neuroscience over the last few years, I think of two in particular. One, we've moved from special occasion use to more mainstream use. And what I mean by special occasion, we always got the hard questions. Clients put out a campaign into the world and they expected it to achieve a certain amount of success and it hasn't. Why is that? Why isn't it working? Or they're working on a very new direction, something they've never done before, and we would get the call using the best tools to try to capture both that non-conscious and conscious response that consumers have. Now what we're seeing is that with the success of that work, clients are really starting to build us into their everyday work, which is very exciting for us. That means we're having a, a bigger impact. The second trend is while initially the consumer packaged goods companies were really the, the first movers in this space, we're now starting to see other verticals get engaged with consumer neuroscience. So the financial sector, technology sector, automobile are all starting to, to play in this game with these fabulous tools to really get that holistic view of consumer engagement. When people ask me uh, what makes great advertising, I always say there are many roads to emotional engagement. There's really no one emotion that our clients can or should focus on. But if you're to think about what we see consistently over and over again, it's that people engage with stories. And so telling compelling stories that have a clear payoff and that use relatable characters and integrate the brand, product, or service into that story is really the most consistent way we see to deliver engaging advertising that breaks through the clutter of the modern media landscape. A bit of advice I would give clients coming into the space for the first time is to really read and ask questions. By read, I mean search the internet, look for books of which there are new ones coming out all the time. Uh, there's an edited volume. The first academic press, MIT, is producing a textbook called Consumer Neuroscience, which is really meant for marketers who have no background in the science to get up to speed very quickly. Um, so reading is a, a great way to do it. And then the second one is to ask questions um, and really think through the types of questions you ask suppliers because there are uh, lots of different companies out there providing lots of different services and you really need to find the best tool for the business question.